So in today's video, we are going to be doing a long-term review of my personal Sony headphones. This is specifically the WH-CH720N. Now again, I said I had these headphones. I've had these for over a year now, so I'm going to do a bit of a long-term review. Show you the condition of it, showed you how it's held up tell you what my likes and dislikes are so here we go so first up obviously you can see here by the color i got mines in black now a bit of a backstory behind me moving to sony i used to have the bose headphones specifically the bose qc35 and then i switched over to the bose qc45 and i've had those ones like um about for two years but i've always had issues with it like either parts would end up breaking so you see like right here this would end up breaking on the the bose headphones and then i would have to constantly replace the ear muffs i would always find that they would be tearing thankfully these ones have held up really good and i've used them for such a long time so sometimes like these would be on my ears for at least four or five hours a day i also use them for work so they've held up pretty well so if i can show you here you can see the ear muffs i guess it's just a little bit of a tearing here let me see if i can just focus in a little bit like right here just a little bit and right here as well just a little bit of wear and tear, but overall, I found that these have held up really, really well compared to the bows. And I think I got these on sale. Maybe they were like $80 at Best Buy. And obviously, you know, bows very, very seldom they ever go on sale. And if they do, it's like $300. It's crazy. But this specific model, as you can see here, um pretty wide opening so these are over ear so they're really well uh so they're really good and the cushion here is very comfortable as well so overall i feel like in my opinion my personal opinion the quality is uh, up there in terms of balls in terms of like comfort sound obviously i would have to lean more towards the bows but this one like you get pretty good bass and everything as well um obviously it's been really good so as you can see here like i mentioned earlier this part always ended up breaking on my bowls but this has held up really well after over the year so that's nice i think these come in a bunch of different colors but specifically i went for the black ones it's really good um, down here this is your power so you would hold that and it would turn on We'll obviously have your USB-C for charging, your 3.5 audio jack, your volume up, your volume down. And I think this is for your noise cancellation right here or AMB for, I think, ambience, ambient noise, something like that. But overall, it's been really good headphones. Those are my pros. Now, the only con that I've had for the year was that there was a period where... I would be using the headphones and then they would constantly disconnect and reconnect and disconnect and reconnect. So the way I ended up solving that and I did some research was that I downloaded the, I think there's like an app that you can use and then you can update the, uh, the firmware or the software for it. Once I did that, had no issues with the disconnecting even after, I think I did that like a couple months ago haven't had any issues or anything so really good headphones for the money i'll put an amazon affiliate link in the description below but overall these headphones have held up really well so definitely if these stop working or i'm in the market for new headphones i would definitely get another pair of sony headphones over the bose Again, that's my personal opinions. If you got the money, you can go with the Bose, but for Sony, really good brand, have no issues, and I think it's pretty affordable. So that is pretty much it for the review here. Short, quick video. Obviously, you can 
extend these out as much as you want. You'll fit over a bunch of people, different heads. My head is pretty large, so I don't need, but so, well, my head is pretty large, but I don't need to extend it out this much. Maybe mine's is like, you know, right here. So it's not too bad, but overall comfort looks everything, even the wear and tear once again, like it's been really good. Again, these are like, it's like focus here. These are like the only two spots that I've started seeing wear and tear. And these are the original air muffs. I've not had to replace these. I think I think you can get like some aftermarket air muffs replacements. Thankfully, I haven't needed it. Because I can tell you, again, once I had the bows, I had to replace their air muffs at least like two or three times. Those things just tear like crazy. I don't know why. But these ones have held up really well. So that's the long-term review. Hopefully you guys like it. I will be back with another tablet video, oh, sorry, tablet case video in the not too distant future. So stay tuned for that one. And I'll obviously be bringing more content to the channel as well. If you have any suggestions on what I should review, anything you would like to see on the channel, leave that in the comments below. I'll take it as feedback and um, we'll definitely get that one out for you. Thank you.